how about goodbye? Whatever happens, this is the last we'll ever talk to each other. This isn't how I wanted things to go! Do you think I want to die? You don't understand! I'm sorry, you two. If I don't do something now, you'll both die. It's alright. I'm ready now. It'll be like a barbecue. A steve -a Shut up! You're not gonna die! Is he visitor? You're probably gonna kill him. You suck. Our visitor knows what they're doing. They'll save you. Visitor, promise me you'll save him! Promise me well! Please tell me I don't have to enter the- oh god, what? Um... That's not good. Hmm. Oh, the thing isn't on. Oh! Hello, fire. Every... wait. What's with this? What? What is... damn it. What's this about? Stop that. I can't do anything. Is there some way to move people I don't know about? Or is this... Like, do I get alternate options of where people spawn in the new, in, like, New Game Plus or some crap? Or am I just forced... <sighs> this is just another forced choice kind of thing going on here. It's kind of seeming that way. <coughs> you know what? Whatever. I, I freaking knew it would make <coughs> me save Steve, too. Save Steve. Fire has been contained. Casualties. Christina. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear it. If you were sorry, you would have listened to me. I couldn't listen to you. Did you see the frickin' map? I could literally n could not save her. I did not make a decision. There was nothing I could have frickin' done. That was some bullcrap. It's got to say. You know what? Fine. I will shut up. Yes, this is a nightmare. Sparkle. You're still there, aren't you, Chris? If you're there, send me a message. I'm dead, Chris. You're just ignoring me again, right? It's gonna have a nervous breakdown on our asses. Steve, I understand this must be impossible for you right now, but you need to keep moving. And what the hell is the point of that? Christina just died for you. If you don't get out of here, she'll have died for nothing. I should not have given that guy the whiny voice. It really doesn't fit him. Plus, I don't want to use it too much. Sure. I'm gonna get out of here. It's gonna turn out this was all but some sick joke, and Chris will be waiting for me outside. Alive. There'll be rainbow kittens and puppies. Oh god, I'm crazy. I mean, how do I even know it was Chris who's writing those messages, right? Am I right? I'm right. Okay. I'm ready. I'm headed up to ground level now. I can't even wait. I can't wait to see her again. That's kind of a nice, neat twist. I didn't even... I didn't think of... They're sending messages and not really talking directly to each other. So there could be all kinds of surprises. Beginning scan, ground floor. A little further. There's a desk right here with one of those blue files you're talking about on top of it. It's another security code. Another one. But what for? I guess with this you can control more fire doors at a time? Steve! What do you mean? Phoenix experiment? The one with the cockatiels? We turned them on- we set them on fire and they turned into phoenixes. Everyone's freaking Jean Grey. So Phoenix Corp has an experiment planned where they're going to buy lots of cockatiels. Teach them to say a phrase. But every time they had enough birds for the experiment, they would just randomly decide to increase their sample size. <laughs> Six million cockatiels! They're gonna wipe those things out of the face of the earth. We stopped buying them the day something weird happened. One of the cockatiels they bought already knew the phrase they were trying to teach it! We're going back in time. That's what's going on here. I know it. We're gonna go back in time. We're gonna be able to solve the puzzles next time and save everybody. Ran each and every one of the cockatiels through some kind of machine. 
was worse than Chris thought. They all died. Except the one. It was the one they marked. The one that already knew the phrase was fine. It's the sort of machine that crushes birds unless they knew a phrase before you found the bird. You know, you can get them on Amazon. They're like, you know, they're not cheap, but you know, it's business. I have no idea. The paper talks very little about the machine itself. What it does say, I don't understand. Something about nucleotronic physics. Does it, how does this tell you Christina's alive? She's actually a bird. Christina was a cockatiel. That's the twist. I'm banking on that right now. The phrase the birds were taught. It's Christina lives! Dun 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 dun! And she's a zombie. Steve. Are you sure you're feeling all right? I mean it. That's what it says. You can see for yourself when I show Chris. But even if that's true, we still have no idea what that phrase means. What do you mean? Christina lives. It means she's still alive. It's a very simple phrase, Mr. Visitor. But we don't know anything about the experiment. It could mean anything. Steve, come on. You need to keep in contact. She's just killed three people for you. Sorry, no time to type. I've got to find out the way so I can find Chris. See you soon. See, uh, this... I'm pretty sure this must have been a forced thing. Steve. God damn it, Steve. Steve, what the hell have you done? Honestly, I'm coming to find you. Just leave, leave the building. It's one guy, honestly. Everyone else is already dead. Steve and It's almost Steven. The mystery is not yet solved. You must explore all possibilities to find the truth. Like, am I going to be able to unlock more doors now? Yeah, I figured this was how it was going to work out. Alright. Can I, can I lock two now? What? What? I don't have the... Th <laughs> Why don't... What? Just kill everyone, I don't care. I want to go back to the frickin'... Alright. We're gonna pray that it saved my progress. Okay, good. Let's go back to this one. Skip. No! I can't... What? Okay, let's try and save her and see if that unlocks something. Mm. I don't think this is going to turn out well for anyone, actually. Oh, wait! Hooray! Okay, I'm sorry, game. The fire has been contained. Casualties, Steve. No. I'm so sorry. That this is how I sound when I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's not fair. Why would you save me? I had to listen to one of you. You don't understand. He never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, I did. Lots of cockatiels. I killed them. They were delicious. Troy, Lionel, and Steve, they all died because of me. The security guards, too. I killed them. I snapped the necks and I ate the flesh. That's what I do. Visitor, this is all my fault. I lit the fire. You lit the fire. I hate you. You suck so much. No, you didn't. Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Wow. I set the fire. Then I killed the gods. I'm sorry, this is like the only female voice I can do. I can do like a couple. I killed the gods before they could do anything about it. From the start, it was all me. See, I knew you sucked, but I didn't think you sucked more than Steve. But you do. It was Troy. If it was Troy, why was he trying to save us all? I don't know. No one does. Except the guy who made this game. And all the people who played before me. I guess those people know. This is not what it was meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be nearly empty. Let's see you did it. What was your motive? 
I wanted to stop whatever was going on in this building forever. And I wanted to kill Lionel before he ruined everyone else's life too. It's actually sounding fairly plausible. You're being crazy. Him and his company, they killed my mother. My mother was a cockatiel. <laughs> I like the dramatic pause. Like, I laughed there, but it's actually kind of a nice touch, the dramatic pause before you get the next button. And it's not so slow that you would get annoyed by, you know, waiting all the time for the next button. She never told me what they did here. Yeah. They just said experiments. Well, one day she went to work and never came back. We ordered a search, but no one could find her. That sounds like one of the frickin' Monty Python old ladies. It was a week before we got a call from the Phoenix Corporation. They told us that they were so sorry, but Mom had died in an experiment. Sorry, my ass. They wouldn't tell us what happened, and then they sent back her body. It was full of cockatiels. And her brain had been cut out! Why would... They cut out her brain so they could experiment on it. You know, they could have just, like, put her skull back on and no one would have known. I mean... Who checks the brain cavity? I am so sorry. I couldn't let them get away with anything like that ever again. So I started working here at the company. They knew who I was, but they they, they gave me a job to shut me up. Since then, God knows how long I've been trying to find out what they did to my mother. But I haven't gotten anywhere. I didn't say that sentence right, did I? Then I read in the notices that Lionel was going to be visiting today, and I had to do something. But I thought I had worked out the timing perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working overtime! And now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. I do not know what to say. Don't say anything. Nothing's going to help. I'll just keep moving through this building. Then I get out, I'll be arrested, and I'll finally get what I deserve. Alright, I'm on the ground floor now. Yeah, you're weird. Probably literal skeletons. You're screwed up. Yet another blue file. Ugh. You freaking freaking cockatiel tease. This game. Tempest Centris. Aw, you butt face. Snake? Snake? Snake! Christina End. That one's not really like a name. Okay, I found two frickin' blue files. Yeah. And it doesn't let me... It's teasing me with being able to lock more than one thing. But, but I can't. And there was never an option to, like, manually input a code, either. I gotta lock her in. Uh, let's let's go back to the first choice. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah. Wait, the first choice wasn't locked, was it? So lock that. Oh, yeah. I could have done this a long time ago. Wait, what? Oh. Hang on. Turn that crap off. Sorry, Steve. I never liked you anyway. Fire's been contained. Casualty, Steve. Why? Why save me? My thoughts exactly. Why did you leave Steve to die? Well, I haven't explored this path yet. Goddamn. Calm down. Oh, now we're thinking? Not, gonna, not going to save anyone from here on in. What? <laughs> I was right to kill you. You're a jerk. Freaking mutton chops, man. How'd you know the security code? 
Visit, check the bodies of the two security guards. This better not be a trick. Just do it. Fine. That, ex that explains a lot. I'm gonna try and keep that guy's voice to my voice. I'm messing up the voices. One of the guards is holding a blue file. Security code! Oh. Security code we already had. Found the code when I killed him. Why were you killing people? Frickin' Mutton Chops Man. I'm saving Mutton Chops Man just to see why he's here and why he's crazy. <sighs> yeah, come on. That's why, obviously. There should be a staircase with a room near both of you. Hmm, you're right. I'm heading up now. Fine, me too. So while we're up here, Lionel, can you tell me what the hell it is that the company is set up to do? Don't waste your breath, he won't tell you anything. Well, maybe you'd like to explain, then. There's nothing to explain. That's a lie, and you'll know it. I'm gonna talk like this now. You both work here, shouldn't you know what the company does? Something cockatiel-related? Buys and sells things in bulk, we know this. Candidates, Christina, Troy. Dun, dun, dun. See, Mr. Frickin' Mutton Chops knows more than he's letting on. Oh, this guy. Oh, ho, ho, Christina lives. Oh, man, we picked, like, the perfect path here. This is perfect. This might have been the intended path, though, because, I mean, who would save the Mutton Chop asshole the first time? Yep. How, how does the computer know this, anyway? But <laughs> I just asked that. I hate when I say something in the game. Well, I kind of like, it's like... I don't know what it's like. Um, anyway. Oh, crap. My... Hang on. Sorry, my recording region has been off for, like, the past 20 minutes or something. So that's great. He lit the fire, I know everything. That answer's not good enough. <laughs> because that's not true. So emo. Security system, chat system has been locked. Okay. Oh, it's this one again. And it, what, what? Oh, you're reusing the maps. That's why there's different stuff. All right, I see. We're gonna kill you. Or wait, no, that's not how you kill you at all. Pull that. Um. Oh, 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 never mind, I'm dumb. I think I'm forgetting that I can stop the water. Maybe that wasn't a forced choice after all. Because I just keep thinking the water is here, but if I turn this off, it won't keep flowing. So maybe I wasn't forced to make that choice, I just wasn't thinking right. Christina was a butt face anyway. The fire's been contained. Casualties. Christina. Not again! Yet another Christina dead. Don't sound too happy for someone who's lucky to be alive. If you to tell me, what would it take you to get- <laughs> What? Freaking mutton chops, man. You're not mad. You're lying. I know you're lying. I can see through your lies, man. How do you know that? Doesn't matter. That is a monster and I don't deserve to live. Well, I'm just gonna make you suffer then. Once again, I must kill you, Mr. Um... What's your name? Mr... Colonel Mustard, yes. Alright. Next... Mission, one casualty, unavoidable. 
I can go skincare. Save me. Which one will I kill? You'll have to see next time on Sir Tap Tap Kills People, the game.